Okay, you ready? Hello, this is Marco and Phillips, and welcome once again for a very quick tutorial on how to make skyboxes. Making skyboxes is very easy, making them correctly is also very easy, but you know, you have to know how. Um, it, where we left off in our previous tutorial, uh, we're just going to select the two ceilings we have created and delete them. And normally in game, this would create a leak. And to prevent this from happening, but still have a nice, neatly open feeling area, we're going to create a skybox. Now, zoom out really far in your top view window, and in the Trigger browser thing, uh, inside where it says filter, look for tools skybox. And um, the 2D one, tool skybox t 2D. Because 3D skyboxes are a different tutorial for a different time. Uh, basically what you want to do is you want to make a huge cube around your map. Really big, really large, just so that it surrounds the map in its entirety. And hit enter. And I had the selection tool selected. Silly me. Make sure that you have the brush tool selected. <laughs> I feel so silly right now. And uh, hit enter. That should do it. And once you've done that, once you've clicked enter, I'll actually zoom out so you can see that the 2D skybox is really there. Look, 2D skybox. Hooray. Um, with your 2D skybox brush selected, go to tools and click make hollow. And we're just going to enter a value of negative 32. That makes it recede outward. What this does, it makes a neat hollow texture with walls and surroundings and this makes sure that your map is absolutely 100% closed. So if there is an opening anywhere in your map, now there is, now it is uh, completely closed and there's nothing for you to worry about anymore. I'm just very quickly going to make a uh, barrier so that people cannot jump over the uh, walls here, because that would be bad. And we're just going to give that a no draw texture. Oh, apply texture. This is this is the apply texture button, by the way. I haven't actually explained that. There's no shortcut for it. How inconvenient. Uh, copy that over to the other side. I'll actually make this. Tie this to a funk bear brush, I guess. Uh, solidity, always solid. Apply. And uh, copy that over to the other side there. That makes sure that scouts cannot double jump outside of the map. That would suck. And to make sure that demo men and rocket jumping soldiers can also not jump out of the map, I'll just make a few more at the sides here select them all, make them a bit higher Yet da -da -da. okay that's great and uh, say that you don't like the default skybox uh, you can change it you can change it by going to file uh, map, sorry by going to map, uh, map properties and up here where it says skybox texture name change the texture name. It's not a dropout box, but um, you can go to the developer wiki developer.valvesoftware.com and if you're looking for a list of the skyboxes, you click here to go to the source engine documentation, index, level design, go here, click port Team Fortress 2, I'm sorry, and um, click the list of skyboxes which should be around here. Yeah list of Team Fortress 2 skyboxes. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys and you can see all of the uh, skyboxes. So say that we want Sky Hydro 01 instead of the default one. We open Hammer and where it says skybox texture name replace Sky Day 01 underscore 01 by Sky underscore Hydro underscore 01. Apply. And now you will have successfully created a nice 2D map of 2D-ness. That's all there's to it. The end.